Welcome back to the final section in our series, Introducing Grunt, the JavaScript Task Runner. In the last section, we talked about some different ways to make your project easy to deploy. In this section, we'll be talking about using custom commands and prompts. In this video, we'll talk about how we can really run anything we want in Grunt, even if there is no plugin. I'm using a program called Drushed, which gives me a command line interface into the Drupal content management system. Unfortunately, though, there's no plugin available for this. Now, at this point, we could talk about plugins, how to create your own, and how to publish, but that's a little beyond the time we have for this video, so we'll look at how to simply call the Drush command from Grunt. First things first, we do an install of Grunt exec. Of course, we do the save dev. And then, once that's done, we'll head back over to our editor. Now, the exec setup is pretty straightforward. We have our task here, our target, and then we have our command, drush status, and then standard out equals true means that it'll print the results of drush status to our console. We do grunt exec, and there's our output. Now we come back here, we can do a little more with this. Let's see how to add some options. And now I just switch that to a function. So now the command is going to start with drush status, but it's going to look for an option of buggy, and then we'll add the D flag, which is actually just debug for drush. So let's see what happens when we run it now with the buggy flag. Grunt sec dash buggy. All sorts of new stuff. Now what if we want to do something with the results of that output? Let's add a callback that parses the data and prints what we want out of it. Let's say I want to grab the Drush version out of this. Yeah, I know there are easy ways to do that, but this will serve as a good example. I'll add the callback option here and assign a function. The function does an index of to search for the words Drush configuration, finds the proper length, then pulls the substring out. Then it logs it to the console. And since we're logging our own stuff to the console, we're going to turn the standard out to false. Let's take a look and see what this does. There we go. Drush version right there. Now, what if we wanted to add our own options to this? Let's take a look at what that would look like. Now, what I've done here is I've added an if statement, if grunt.config.data.exec.drush.options.trim obviously equals true, then let's trim it. That's looking for this option right here. And if you follow this from the top of the tree, it goes grunt config data exec drush options and then trim. So if this is true, like it is now, we'll run that and see what we want to see. If we change this to false, it will no longer do that. So now, I've given two examples of how to use two different types of options with Drush Exec. In this video, we figured out how to call any CLI command we want, with or without options, then finally how to use the results and output our own massage data. The next video will go over how to use prompts.